Alright my friends, so I gotta start this episode 5 of this My GM series with some horrible, horrible news. Horrible news, guys. Man, I'm so happy. Not really, not really at all. TJ McConnell, our starting point guard, who I was very high on. Okay, because I started simulating games because I wanted to get the series moving a little bit. And uh, TJ McConnell just destroyed his leg. He destroyed that leg. That thing is snapped in half, or fractured at least. And he's out four to six months. That's pretty much the whole damn season. We just lost our starting point guard for pretty much the whole damn season. Oh my god. And uh, we're going to have to adjust the rotation. Man, we got... Oh my god. Oh my god. The injury bug. And not to mention, we're already losing games. We're already losing games. So like I said, guys, in uh, the previous episode, is that this is definitely going to be our work in progress right here. Wow, we got... I mean, as you guys can see, we're only 2-7. and seven. We won our first game against the Celtics, then we... Uh, Wiggle to win against the Toronto Raptors somehow. Uh, but besides for that, man, like we are losing games. We are giving up points. And, uh, you know, so Rowan, I don't know if I like him as our starting point guard, though. I mean, I guess Kendall Marshall played that backup position. So, yo, I don't know what to do. I don't know if we try to make a trade or something or what. Because, uh, I mean, I guess Tony's all right. But I don't know if I want to be our starter, man. Let's check out, let's check out uh, free agency. Man, that's what that, and that's kind of what I, want, what I wanted to save my free agent one for was to bring in a uh, back or a point guard if needed. But looking at these guys, I mean, the best one is 72 overall, uh, Nick Kathathis, uh, and Will Bynum, Steve Nash. So none of these guys are really going to get the job done for us. Um, trade finder, I guess. I don't know, man. I did, I did not expect this to happen. I did not expect this to happen at all, man. Um, let's try. Yo, I'm gonna have to give up Covington to be honest. I know he's 77 overall. Uh, let's see. Let's see who's performing well for us. So we get the player stats. Um, so Gallinari, he's him and Julio Okafor are, are both playing great basketball for us. So those guys are staying. Uh, Roten actually, you know, 10.8 points per game, but I don't trust him to be our starting point guard for the rest of the season here. McConnell, this dude was playing great basketball, guys. 12.2 points a game. Uh, rebound the basketball, getting other players involved. You know, almost two steals a game, almost a block a game for the short guy right here. I guess 6'2". Um, so that really sucks. Covington's only averaging five points a game. What's he shooting at, too? Shooting percentage only 28%, 28% from three. So not shooting well at all. Um, so being a 77 overall, man, I think we could probably package him for a different player. So let's, uh, let's offer up. Yeah, if we could bring, like, a top-notch point guard. Not, not, like, a top-notch guy, but, you know, a guy that's going to help us out. That'd be great. Um, you know, Tony Rowan got 75 overall trade value, so that might be a move to make. And Covington, let's see if we can bring in a good point guard. Man, this sucks. I was not expecting that to happen. I was expecting to just simulate some episode, I got some gameplay this episode, all that stuff. But, uh, of course, that's not always how it works out. And Paul Pierce, Josh Smith. Dennis Schroeder, man, that's not a bad move. That's not a bad move at all. I mean, he's 76 overall. I know he's been playing pretty good basketball for there for the Hawks, so that might be a move to make. Ru Ooh, Rudy Gobert. Although we don't really need him. we don't really need more big guys. Uh, Jordan Clarkson, another good young point guard out there. Justice or Justin Anderson, um, Ish Smith. You know, I'm not really feeling. You know, I mean, some of these trades they're not bad. You know, I think uh, maybe uh, Jordan Clarkson would actually be a pretty decent move. What's his uh, shooting stats looking like? So he's actually a decent shooter, too. 6'5 point guard. You know, he got good potential. We also get Brandon Bass back. So, I mean, he would actually give us some also some more trade value, uh, to, you know, to trade later on if needed. Um, and well, we will need a backup small forward, too, now that Robert will be gone. You know, I mean... From a, from a salary standpoint, an offensive standpoint, this team needs more offense on the team. You know, having the good size of Jordan Clarkson will help a lot. So, I think, you know, Tony Roten, his shooting stats are not great. He is 6'6 himself, so we basically get a better shooting Tony Roten. And then Robert Covington, I mean, he's just been playing bad for us all together. Man, let me try out Let me try out a deal with just Tony Roten. Just because I don't really like him that much. Let's give up uh, Tony and... What kind of draft picks we got... We still got our Knicks one. You know, this Heat one probably not going to be that valuable for us. Um, let's give up. Let's see what we can get for that. I would just like to get a better point guard. I, gotta, I trust a bit more. Kendall Marshall, I think I can use him as backup as our backup point guard for now. Um, so that would be fine. Let's see, Jared Bayless. Nah, Aaron Brooks. Not bad. 
Austin Rivers, Mario Chalmers, Booker. Not really feeling any of these either, to be honest. Man, this is, uh... This really sucks, guys. It really sucks. I almost just kind of want to give Tony a try. <laughs> I don't know, though. <laughs> um, Let's take a look this way. See what kind of offers we can get just by looking out here. Like, a guy like Michael Carter-Williams. Can we bring him into this team? Give up Avery Bradley, Tony Roach. And we get OJ Mayo back. Okay. I mean... Michael Car well, Michael was already on the 76ers. He didn't even want to be on the team anymore, so that'd be kind of weird to bring him back. D. Rose, maybe a new uh, change of scenery. Nope, <laughs> he don't want to come to this team. Uh, Marcus Smart, another guy that's not really a good shooter, though. Um, you know, I saw this Schroeder trade wasn't bad. Let's see, what about Kemba Walker, man? I'm bringing Kemba. Nope, okay. <laughs> Darren Collison. Angela, come on, man, come on. Okay, I still might go with this Clarkson move. Okay, so we could actually just give up Covington and our uh, second rounder from 2018 for Brooklyn and get Jordan Clarkson back. So I think I'm gonna do this trade right here. Covington, you know, you're a good. You're, I think you're gonna be a good player, but uh, we just have larger problems right now. Then Tony Rogan can still continue to be our backup guys. So that's definitely a good move. Have coach handle that course though we do need a backup small forward or shooting guard position but i think we can address that in free agency whoops my bad ah right, what am i doing I'm breaking stuff guys oh game's froze game is broken guys okay <laughs> okay so Roten, you're not gonna get the starting spot my friend i'm sorry to say not getting that starting spot but you'll get some minutes and then uh swaggy p can continue to play the uh shooting guard position and then, of course, we got, uh, so Kendall Marshall, we'll take away his minutes. And we'll put, uh, yo, Styles gets for Big Dogs Jr., man. I think I'm going to give Big Dogs Jr. some minutes here at the small forward position. He'll be a good little backup guy. And uh, Jordan Clarkson, I think he's a good pickup. I'm, I'm definitely good with that, guys. I think, it was, I think it was the move to be made. Give Bradley a few more minutes here. And then uh, take away a few minutes here. Yo, where's, okay, David Lee's. Well, they got him starting, man. <laughs> Okay, we'll give the minutes here to uh, Noel, and I want to give Nick Young a few more minutes. So, you know, it's a, it's a big loss to be had, but I think in return we did get a good young point guard back. Uh, we got Ruddy Covington, who, you know, I didn't want to, I didn't want to see him go, but it was a move that had to be made. We had to bring in a guy that could uh, lead this team for the rest of the season. So, it also could be developed. I mean, a Clarkson Bradley, that's a good young backcourt. So, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and simulate this game here against the... Uh, the Spurs. Just kind of curious to see how this team does. We'll probably lose it. Simulate game. Man, if we beat the Spurs, that'd be huge. I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, okay. It might happen. Oh, damn. We blew about 124-100. And uh, it looks like Jordan Clarkson posted a career high in assists. So, uh, Jaleel Okafer, double-double for him. David Lee played great basketball. Avery Bradley. And uh, 12 is so a double double for Clarkson, so I definitely am liking that. I mean, I love the uh, spread it off, uh, the spread it out offense here. Everybody's kind of scoring themselves. That's huge. That's huge, man. All right. So next episode, since we haven't done a gameplay in a while, um, or like, do this game here against the Dallas Mavericks. So y'all don't gotta watch this right here. I uh, thank y'all so much for watching. And it looks like, oh wait, one, one sec, one sec. They want us to start looking at prospects. So point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, center. Um, I'm thinking the move is probably, probably look at point guards for now, because McConnell's good, Clarkson's good, uh, but you never know what kind of point guards might be out there. Let's look at best available for that, and we'll strike out the, the, the report in a few episodes, but anyway, guys, uh, next episode, we're going to do a gameplay against the Dallas Mavericks, and yeah, thank you all so much for watching, hope you guys are all enjoying this series. We are currently 3-7, and seven, so a little better than what I thought, what... I don't know, kind of like that middle rip, middle way thing. We're doing better than the 76ers in the real NBA, so that's all good, right? All right, my friends. Peace out.